if I were to become a cooking show man, uh, which I'm not saying I won't be, because it's obvious if I've got a knack for it. We realized we had spent over an hour on nine of the 78 recipes we needed to get through. The oil got a little smoky, but you know, that's totally normal. We're all professionals here. Turn away. No one needs to see this. That's just a mush. Some spicy mush. <laughs> Please don't do a close up of this. I mean, compared to what, Patrick? This is the greatest looking meat I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Doing this in this kitchen feels like a sin to me. No! Oh. <laughs> Steam poggy. Oh, the crab does not mix well with the carrot. <laughs> what about the mm. chicken? No fear. So we're just gonna dip the thing into honey and see what happens. That works. <laughs> we're just drinking milk with carrots in it. Yeah, now that is milk and meat. Together at last. I'm not even gonna plate the mussels. <laughs> it's still crunchy. <laughs> it's, it's very droopy. Now that does just taste like <laughs> undercooked dough. As you can see, it didn't go so hot when you try to make an egg tart in a wok. We left some of the hardest recipes for last. This is the seafood paella. Oh yeah, it looks just like paella does. Mm. Oh, that looks like a, a beef patty. <laughs> <laughs> we just cooked a fruitcake that looks <laughs> like it'd be served at McDonald's. So I kind of just made sweet scrambled eggs. Oh. <laughs> On first bite, it like coats your mouth in these tiny curds oh, and no. it's just very unpleasant. Hey, what did you do? <laughs> the last one. We can do it. Please don't ever ask me to do this again. Okay. You know? It could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. Food Network, it can't get enough of me right now.